Hi, my name is Joe Dinefer. Uh, in recent video blogs, we've been sharing different games and juggling tips and um, things like that to add more fun to your tennis classes, sports activity classes, physical education classes, or just in the neighborhood uh, with your own kids or the neighborhood kids. So what we're going to do today is just share a couple of different uh, twirling, racket twirling tricks. And I've seen players do things that, frankly speaking, I, I can't do. Uh, maybe one or two of the things that I'm going to do and share with you today will be new for you and you can try it on your own. These are fairly simple. They always look harder than they are. Um, the basic one we all know is when, when players Certainly, you don't want to do it like that. Was I kidding around? No, this is not one of my strengths is to twirl a racket like this. But a lot of players can do it really fast. I never was able to quite get that. But twirling a racket, now that we have the open throat rackets, that's one. Uh, number two, which I always liked, was pulling it like a gun out of a holster, where you go like this. And you just sit the racket on your hand. To me, this is the easiest racket twirl and you flip it forwards. If you're really cute about it, you can flip it and then catch it again. So you fl flip and then catch it again. Uh, for those that are really wanna, wanna live on the, on the dangerous side, you flip it and let the racket go all the way around and then catch it here. I'm not gonna demonstrate it. It's gonna be noisy if it drops on the floor we're standing on, but again, this single flip, single flip, uh, the righty. Now you know what it sounds like to drop a racket on a linoleum floor. All right, now try one more time. Lefty and righty. I remember when I learned to juggle three rackets years ago, we always did it on the grass because inevitably those rackets were flying. All right, now the third twirl that I'm gonna do, and then we'll finish up this video blog for today, is the one that, see if you can figure out how to do this one. You hold it in your grip, your hand, and you rotate the racket around. So you're twirling like that. And that one to me looks difficult, but it really isn't. You just use your thumb to twirl it and let it roll around the outside of your hand. And there we go. Some tricks to add more fun. People want to think that the coach or tennis pro really knows what he or she is doing. And, you know, uh, not, I, I certainly don't look cool when I do it, but you will. So learn some tricks, look cool on the court, and have more fun.